Why did you hide? Ah. Uh. Right. I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. She has two face. Oh, uh, she's gonna be far in character. I bet you. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Testing what? Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. Huh? Is someone? Pack everything up. Whoever's outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. Oh, are you okay? Oh, this makes it These complicated. Two, as expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but I also like playing dumb. I like the feeling of being trusted. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're going to do with her. Oh. oh my, what's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Lee, wait! It's no use. We have to catch up to him. Where she go? He's already out of sight. How is he so fast? Let's go head him off at Risley's office. Where is that place? Oh, is it there? In the middle? I didn't know this was a place. Come out and face me, Risley! Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from the fortress's indoor management regulations? What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Stop joking around! Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now, if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. <laughs> you knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start, so you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation, just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. As for Fremenay, no, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go, so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremine has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremine is not. He's not? <sighs> what do you really want? Lenny! Oh. Wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. 
<laughs> He's gonna be a boss fight, isn't he? I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? Wait, you can't mean... you locked him outside in the sea? I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Uh, Fremenet's a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he'd definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. Oh, boy. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally, invite her over for a cup of tea with me. You want to see Father? <laughs> but why should she bother giving you an audience? Well, if she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a Harbinger like Father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. <sighs> That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. Was this the extent of your master plan to get to Father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the Fortress's secret? Mr. Linney. You have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... <clears throat> Linny! Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. I... I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six... Five. Uh oh. Wait, I. Two. One. Oh no. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Risley! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. <laughs> oh, man. I know he's supposed to be like the antagonist here, but I can always see people just shipping for him. Can you at least talk to us? 
You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervalette, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? <laughs> the ticking doesn't happen. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour, just... The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize... We often see Miss Sijuin observing... Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged pro... The research notes said that the Melazine race perceives the world... According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the Fanta company sp... Okay, I think we only need this. Okay, what she has to do with the food? Okay, from what I can because I just literally called all this in same day. Like we did the all three tests, but then we didn't interact at all. All I think that was after we discovered this hidden secret. Understands it now. Who would have guessed? The hidden rule of the production zone. When did you get the glasses? They're supposed to work three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. At first, we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared, but in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. How we come to that? How in the world did we come to that conclusion? Okay, from a tense moment, we somehow reached this. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. I think I now remember that one. I not sure if that was after or before it. The day three. Of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However, unfortunately, Melazines as a race perceive the world differently from humans and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us the recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out are we on the right track <laughs> not bad you've uncovered sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well it's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged all right now for my next question there are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? Oh, now I get it. The Fanta sponsor. Fanta's internal reports suggest. Hey, I get in the second time. Wait, did we actually got this new Fanta because we support 
Boss Sergeant got some kind of bonus. Ah, Paimon gets this rule too now, so there really was nothing to be afraid of. That hidden rule of the Pancration Ring is about how, um, people are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet to be named and packaged new Fanta trial product. Strawberry. A red, red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision making. The company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale, to see how it might be received by customers. They came to the Fortress of Meropede and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the Fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive the drinks. I acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words, I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. Really? All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Oh boy. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley. You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremenet never even crossed your mind. You'll pay for this! Uh -oh. huh? Wait, who? Wait, what did he? Lenny, are you alright? Wait, what did he hit him? Oh, close one. I owe you, Sijuin. That was a fantastic shot. Huh? What? It was nothing, Your Grace. She has a gun? She has a gun. And wow, they are using CG. Sijuin? Okay, I didn't saw that. Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. Sijuin... You... <laughs> I can already see the comic with her when she hides her uh, uh, hidden side. A resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. When Monsieur Nervilet asked me to come here, he told me that my job would be to take care of the well being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? If you. What does this have to do with him now? And of course, he just the same question about cutting to. But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervilet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? <sighs> my dear Sijuin, whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? Uh, a minute or two of what? He was about to punch you, and I bet you do it worse. And yeah, he acts like a mother. Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want. But let them go. Mm hmm how touching. Can you just give me one more minute? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. 
Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. Oh my! Wait, who? I'll go get a cup of tea, Miss Sijuin. I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You. What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps. Uh oh. Uh, I have a bad feeling. Phew. Some space, please. Phew! I'm so glad Alcon is her. Huh. I'm so happy she's here. Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. Wait, did he? Did he drag? Wait a minute. He like a sack at the. Well, I'm, I thought he's gonna be even new Valeto and the father. Fremenay. Fremenay. He's not dead. What's going on? What is Clarin doing here? Work. I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. What happened to Fremenay? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? Flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed primordial seawater. Uh oh. What did you say? Uh, please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremen a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremen to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. He's not a Pontean, right? I think he's maybe from another part. Yeah, I think. Mm, I cannot tell. He's gonna be fine. Uh, how is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. But let's leave him here for now, and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Uh, sorry. I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. <sighs> Why would he ingest a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? Please, look after Mr. Fremenay for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Wait, Miss Lynette? Okay, I'm gonna ask you that second, but... What if he feminine and child swim actually in the sea that the primal they see they find a vein to see? Where is she? How is she right now? Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. If huh? my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Okay, you better explain this. What's that look on your face? I thought I made good time on the way back. Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Sijuin may have been forced to shoot Mr. Linny again. 
I'm just how I gonna like this guy. And he's gonna be in the second phase of this update. But man, I didn't expect clients to make a cameo. How's the situation out there? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased significantly. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one were to stay for any significant amount of time... Well, you can see how that boy is doing. Where was he when you found him? The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. Closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Locking the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Well, I did try to convince them that I had my reasons. Never seems to work, though. It would probably work on Neuvillette. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. Uh, that's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Neuvillette. Want some tea? <clears throat> Not particularly. If you want to drink some that badly, just say so. Fine, I'd like to get some tea. Want me to get you a cup too, since I've already made it? Uh, might as well then, I suppose. Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. Well, that's a positive thing. I can already see the final authority. Rini, 